What's up YouTube, PJ back with another video for y'all and as you can tell by the title of today's video I am gonna be comparing my old pressure washer foam cannon to my new one that I have on Amazon But this setup that I have is the Sun Joe uh, I'm not sure what model but it should be on the screen right now And then it came with this little foam cannon right here and in my opinion, it's not one of the better foam cannons that you can get, but it does get the job done. The one complaint that I have about it though is the top right here. You see how you can change how much soap you want to be sprayed out of it? Well, this actually only works. See, it's all the way open right now, and this is all the way closed, but it only works whenever it's in the middle like this. And that's one of the things that I don't like about it. And plus, it does not set up that good. I mixed up the formula. I think it was like two fifths of the whole thing as the foam cannon soap. And the other, the rest of it, the other three fifths is just water. But this is the foam cannon I'm going to be using today. And I got this off of Amazon. Hopefully, it does not fail me. But it's the matte cc or m-a-t-c-c -C foam cannon lance it has a brass nozzle and this is to control the amount of soap that you want in and out of it and you twist this to show how big of a stream you want as you can see it's moving whenever i twist it this foam cannon has had some good reviews on the internet and so i just picked it up and the first thing off the bat that you do notice other than the brass is the size of it so hopefully i can get more usage out of this one in like one full canister of it than i could this one and hopefully it works better the soap that i'm deciding to go with is the honeydew snow foam auto wash from chemical guys and it's very nice it smells very good and you don't actually have to use that much of it this is after like i want to say two fill-ups and i actually <laughs> filled up one of these things not filled it up but put about this much in there and it actually spilled out once on me so this is you actually don't need to use that much of it time for me to go ahead and mix this mixture up in this foam canner and then put it on the pressure washer to see what it's going to do with the car This is the bare minimum amount of soap. I think I had it on the bare minimum. Yeah, you twist it this way, but as you can see, it was on the bare minimum. But look at this. The soap is a lot thicker than it was with the last foam cannon. If you didn't check that video out, it should be at the card at the top of the screen so you can see the last foam cannon. But it's a lot thicker, as you can see. It's already starting to come off and whatnot. So I guess that's whenever you put a little more soap output on there so it can just stay on a little bit more. But I only did the left side of the car. I have not done the right side yet. The wind is blowing. It did get over here a little bit. But I'm about to go ahead and finish soaping the car up because this is actually like a pre-workout type deal for detailing. Because once you have the soap on there, it's going to start making all the dirt and debris and stuff slide on off so you can just go ahead and wash the car without having to put a lot of elbow grease into it but let me go ahead and finish up this So 
So I took about 15 minutes to agitate all the soap on the car because the foam cannon doesn't get it as clean as it would, but it makes it that much more easier to clean the car whenever you just use a simple microfiber cloth or sponge or whatever you may use. So 15 minute wipe down with the soap and now I'm about to pressure wash it to see how it turns up. And of course you need to do the wheels and exhaust tips last. That's not included in this, this is just for the car vehicle paint. So just keep that in mind. To be honest with y'all, I think this Amazon foam cannon was a very good buy, along with the Sun Joe pressure washer that I have behind me, along with the Chemical Guys foam soap. I think that's a very good trio, and if you want to spend $150 or less, then I would very well recommend these to y'all. The amount of soap that the thing sprays, even on its lowest soap uh, setting, is, I think, way better than the one that came with the Sun Joe. That one, it was like very cheaply made, all made of plastic. This one has a brass foam tip or foam adapter. And I like the way this feels in my hand. It's kind of heavy and just feel like it's not gonna break. And I can guarantee you after using it that time, I will be using this in the future. But yeah, that's pretty much all I have for this video. If you like the video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. Comment down in the section below, let me know your setups with your foam cannons and pressure washers because I would definitely appreciate y'all's comments. Share this video with anybody looking to get a cheap, inexpensive, yet durable foam cannon and pressure washer setup and I'm sure they will appreciate y'all for sharing that and plus that helps the video out a lot. If you aren't subscribed to the channel, you might as well go ahead and subscribe because I will be posting a lot of content in the near future. But like I said, that's all I have for this video. So always remember to do more, be more, believe more, and achieve more. And I thank you all for watching.